Here we're taking a live look of downtown Fort Wayne from our Skycam on top of Grand Wayne Center. We saw a beautiful day, but the air quality and eh, not so great. We had a code orange, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups such as people with respiratory issues, asthma, lung disease or heart disease and any other uh, respiratory problems. And it's going to continue not only for today, but also for tomorrow for a code orange. Now, the main pollutant is ozone, so it can be a great thing and a bad thing. It's great uh, way up in the atmosphere where the commercial airliners uh, fly around 50,000 feet. That's great because it absorbs all the UV rays from the sunlight, but down the surface, it's not great for breathing in. So what creates ozone on the surface? Well, one, you need pollution like cars, monox carbon monoxide. You need the heat, which we saw today. We we're into the mid 80s, and then you need plenty of sunshine. When you get all those ingredients together, you get ground level ozone. So today we are warm. We are into the mid 80s, 86 degrees here in the Summit City, 82 in Auburn, 84 into Angola. And look at the storm track radar. Again, we're seeing plenty of clouds, a few little stray showers down towards our southwest into Huntington, into Wabash, and then zooming out towards the Midwest region. Plenty of activity going around into central Ohio, scattered showers and storms. Plenty of cloud of ground lightning strikes are going on just into the east of our viewing area and looking at the go 16 water vapor satellite imagery areas are shaded about gray and blue indicate very moist area. You kind of see those uh, thunderstorms firing up into central parts of Ohio. So we're going to see a little bit moisture increasing into our region. So the muggy air temperatures will be coming back. We won't be dry. It's going to be very muggy for the next couple of days. Look at the surface weather map again. We're going to be on the drier side. This low will stay off towards our north, so we won't see any rain showers, just an increase in moisture. We'll stay dry for Friday and Saturday, but then we have this cold front that's going to move through into Sunday afternoon that, that could bring a few little scattered showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder on Father's Day, but overall rain chances are going to be very low. Overall, we can see about maybe less than half an inch of rain, and we desperately need some rain as we're well below normal, just over half an inch of rain, and we're already halfway through into June. So we still need the rain. We still could see some chances by Sunday through Tuesday, some pop up showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon, but overall not too much of a washout. Not only that, we're going to be hot looking at our jet stream. You can tell warm air is coming in from the south and it's pretty much going to stay anchor for the weekend. So look at the temperatures. We'll be reaching into the 90s by Saturday and we'll stay around the upper 80s for next week. So if you have any dogs outside, it might be too hot to walk your dog in the afternoon. One trip, one quick rule you can do is um, you can place the back of your hand onto the concrete if it's for seven seconds. If it's too hot for your hand, it's too hot for your dog. As we get through tonight, it will be quiet, lows into the mid 60s, and then tomorrow another hot day, mostly sunny skies, highs in the upper 80s. And then looking at your extended forecast, a very hot and muggy Father's Day weekend. Chances for thunderstorms are possible into Monday and Tuesday. All right, Matthew, thank you. Coming up on ABC 21 Sports, the Colts rookies have all signed their contracts, and now they look ahead to the first season.